hello thank you so much for joining me if you're new to this channel welcome if you've been here before welcome back guys today I have another recipe for you we're gonna be making a cake today and as I told you the holidays are coming and I want you to have a variety of cakes to make to put on your table so you can choose from the many that I will be giving you and um, so you can make a decision when that big day comes okay so today we are making a cake with some coffee and some chocolate and some cocoa okay so let's get started let me show you the ingredients that I have to put together over here I have um, two-thirds cup of butter and I have here three-fourth cups of sugar and I'm gonna go ahead and beat that together for about three minutes until it's nice and fluffy and then from there we'll go on to the next step so let's get started this should not take no more than about three to four minutes to get it nice and fluffy like whipped cream okay guys so we've been beating this for about three minutes and now I'm going to add to this three eggs it's already been cracked three eggs I will continue to beat this for a few minutes After beating this for a few minutes, I'm going to add a few things to it. I'm going to start by adding one half a teaspoon of almond essence. I'm going to add one teaspoon of vanilla. This is actually mixed essence all the way from Barbados. So I'm going to add one teaspoon of this. I have some salt here. I'm going to add one pinch of salt. Put a little bit in my hand. Just remember when you're baking, make sure you have unsalted butter. If you have um, salted butter, you cannot use salt as well. So use a pinch of salt in there. And I will beat it for a few more minutes just to incorporate all that stuff in there. Very good. You're going to rip down the sides a little bit. Rip down the sides. Good. Beat it for two more minutes. Okay, now to this. See how quick this is, guys? See how quick this is? This is taking like less than about five minutes. Tops. Okay? Now here I have one cup and a quarter cup of um, flour in here. This is sieve. I have one teaspoon of baking powder. I'm going to add the baking powder to that. I have a little fork right here. I'm just gonna mix the baking powder in with the flour. And then I'm going to add it, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna add it all one time to this. So this show you how quick it is. Add all the flour at once. And I have here a quarter teaspoon, a quarter cup of milk. I'm gonna add that in as well. And I'm going to incorporate this, but I'm not going to beat it too much. Just a little. Uh, this bowl is a little bit too small. It should have gotten a bigger bowl. Okay. 
Okay. You don't do what I do, guys. You get a bigger bowl. Bowl is a little bit too small, but it's okay. It still did the job. And just we're gonna so we're gonna mix this up together. So we're gonna stir from the outside and just fold it in. And just fold it in. And this is going to be our cake right here. Nice and light is going to be. Just keep folding it around to make sure, oops, to make sure that all the flour is mixed in. You just want to make sure of that. You don't want chunks of flour anyway. Okay. So once I do this, I'm going to, okay, set this aside for a minute my batter i'm going to set aside and over here i have a couple other things that we're going to be using this is our holiday cake i have here one teaspoon of coffee this is instant coffee mm -hmm. like some coffee in there i have here one teaspoon of cocoa put that in there and I'm going to take, this is warm water in this glass. I'm going to take one cup of warm water, one tablespoon of warm water. And I'm going to add it to this and mix it up. Mix it, mix it, mix it. Mix it well. Mix everything well. And once I mix it, once I mix everything in there, coffee and cocoa and a little bit of warm water, that's it. I'm going to take half of this batter right here and add it to that. Is that about half, guys? about half of the batter and then we're going to mix it up mix the two up together so we're going to have one part of that cake will be vanilla and the other part would be a little chocolate with a little coffee so you have a little bit of flavor to the bottom so we're going to mix this up well. And that's it. And just keep stirring it and bringing it, folding it in. This way you're doing is folding it in so that we get the flavor all over. here I have a pan that is already been butter and I have some paper that I put on the center you can do that but make sure you butter your pan so nothing sticks then to the bottom of the pan I will put this batter here with my cocoa and my coffee to the bottom just spread it out guys you can play around with your cakes you can do different things with your cake you just get the basic um, flour and sugar okay so when we here we have this to the bottom of the pan I'm gonna scrape this off so that I don't put all of it on the other side So now I'm going to go for this and we're going to put layer this at the top. 
And you're gonna spray this out as well. And spread it out. Make sure it goes all over. Get it all. I'm gonna make sure we get it all. Make sure we're not leaving anything behind, guys. And just spread it out. And there you go. Here we go. Now, the next thing I'm gonna do, and here's our cake. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I have some chocolate chips here. I'm gonna take some, this is about a quarter cup here. You can use more, you can use less, or you don't have to use this because this is all optional. So you don't have to use that, but we just put a little bit on the top. See, this is a quarter cup I put here, but I'm using less than a quarter cup. Okay, and that's it. You can also use the white chocolate if you prefer the white instead. Now, let me just wipe around the edges a little bit. Edges a little bit. And that's it, guys. So I'm gonna put this in the oven for at about 300 for 30 minutes. Now, if you have, your oven may be different to mine, so make sure you check before the 30 minutes is up to make sure it's okay but this will not take more than 30 minutes at 300 degrees so let me go ahead and get this in the oven make sure your oven is heated before you get started and i will be back as soon as it's all done okay guys the cake is out of the oven so let's go ahead right here this is what it looks like now I'm going to go ahead and take it out of the pan. Okay. So yeah, I'm just going to go. You can go around the, <clears throat> before you take it out of the pan, just go around the edges a little bit just to make sure it comes out. Okay. And it's not stuck. And turn it over. And take this off. And turn it over. And guys, this is the cake. Let's go ahead and slice it. Okay, guys, so here's the cake. Cake is all done. So I'm gonna go ahead and I am going to cut the cake. Cut it. I'm gonna make a few slices here. Make one more slice. You have your little cocoa to the bottom, your little coffee to the bottom. So you have some flavors in here. You have your little chocolate chips at the top. You have different flavors. For I for the cakes that I've given you now, this is the third one. I said you can cut these up. You can cut it even smaller. Put these on your table. And if you have guests coming over, they have a variety. Because you see, it doesn't take that long to make these very quick. And you can decorate your table with all different flavors of cake okay so let me go ahead and give this a try I'm gonna cut a small piece and taste it that's what it looks like so let me taste it mm -hmm. it is nice and moist you have that moistness You have your coffee, 
Your cocoa? Guys, what can I say? It's delicious. But as I said, I'm going to be making a variety of different cakes because I know the holidays are coming. Sometimes you want to take things to work. Sometimes you have a little get together at home. You don't know what to do for desserts. So instead of making just like one cake, mm, got crumbs, I can feel crumbs in my mouth. Instead of just making one cake and setting it on the table, I'm giving you a variety of cakes. It's not a whole big set. It's a small cake and you can make several of them, slice them up nice and small and set them out and display them for the holidays, okay? Guys, this was fun. I had fun making this cake. I hope you have fun making one as well. Don't forget to share, like, subscribe, and leave me a comment because I love to read your comments. Until next time, bye-bye.